Hey guys, here we are, um, 803 Jasmine Lane, um, lot 167, three bedrooms, three bathrooms, 2,238 square feet. Um, the home was just built in 2020. Um, it's sitting on 3.43 acres, so almost three and a half acres. Um, the lot um, actually goes all the way back to the water. Um, so you're actually the last lot on this road before you go down this right here where the boat ramp is. Um, so you can uh, put your boat in the water. All right. Now they are still planning on building right over here across the street. You're, all, you're at the, uh, the entrance of a cul-de-sac here. All right. So there is the house. Um, that's the house right there is, uh, is also for sale. Um, and it's new construction. And then they got a lot over there that they're starting to build that uh, the home hasn't been completed yet. And then these, these homes right here are all new construction. Um, but they've all been sold, those three right there. And they're planning on building back down that road as well. Um, but the uh, neighborhood is great. Um, all right, so let's take a look at the house. Um, the first floor right here is pretty much just your garage areas. Um, they do have an extra room back here if you guys want to use it as storage, um, things like that. Um, there is an option to have a elevator installed, um, but it's totally up to you. All right, so you walk into the front door, you take a left, and you go into the door for the garage. Okay, um, so you, you do have two single um, car garage doors here. All right, and then you have a big open garage. All right, nice size garage. I mean, on that side over here, you could probably fit um, two cars bumper to bumper um, in this in this uh, section right here. Okay, um, you do have a door that goes out to the back. Um, you got a small patio out there. Steps goes out to up to the deck. Um, you do have a room over here. Okay. So I don't know if you want to use this as storage or you can finish it and uh, use it as a bedroom or a in-law suite or whatever. Um, but you go around here, it's got uh, some storage back there. Now this room right here is where the elevator would go. Okay. Now you'll see on the two stories above us that they've turned the elevator shaft into um, a couple of closets. But um, it can easily be moved back into having an elevator put in. Okay. You do have a door here that's just another closet, so you can have for storage. Okay, like I said, it's a nice size room. You got over here, elevator, door, and then you got this room. It's got a big window in it as well. Okay, all right, you walk back out into the garage. Um, very big garage. Okay. Um, we'll go upstairs, take a look at the rest of the house. Um, it it's all has this LVP flooring in here. Um, love the LVP flooring, waterproof, scratch proof. Um, it's, just, it's just very, very good flooring, okay? So we're going to walk upstairs here. I like the spindles as well. Um, a lot of people are changing from that. Um, you know, instead of putting a wall all the way down right there, they've got the openness of the spindles, things like that. A lot of people are changing to that now. Um, Go up here and check this out. All right, so first floor um, above the garage, you open up and you walk into the living room kitchen area, um, big living room area. All right, so it actually goes around this wall a little bit. Okay. Nice, big, big windows. Um, overlooks the water. I don't know if you can see the water from here. Maybe if I get a little closer. All right, so you do see the water out there through the trees. You can see it a lot better from the upstairs balcony. All right, so it opens up into a big living room area. All right, so that's the closet right there. That would be your elevator. But they have turned it into a closet. Okay, now it still has the elevator flooring in there. So um, it can be easily transferred back into an elevator. Um, pricing on elevators is somewhere between twenty and thirty thousand dollars to put an elevator in. Okay. Um, back glass door to the back deck. The back deck is very very nice. All right. So you got a you got enough room here to put tables, chairs, whatever. Um, give you a little view of the backyard. Okay. You do have a drainage ditch that goes down back out to the water. Okay. And you got this tree line. Now you do have. Um, uh, like I said, the, the lot goes all the way back to the water, but a lot of that in between 
that tree line right there and the water is is wetlands or marshland um, so if you want to go all the way out there to put a dock um, we'd have to get some camera permits and stuff like that to make sure that you're allowed to do that um, but like I said it's a beautiful lot you know three and a half acres it goes all the way back to the water it's uh, it's a it's a beautiful lot okay so you do have um, a nice deck stuff to go down all right they've seeded and, and strawed here so they're trying to grow some grass in the back of this okay so right, we'll go back inside check out your kitchen this is the dining area right here all right i don't know if you can see that light fixture from this there you go all right so this is the dining area you can put your uh, dining table stuff like that um, or you can just put stools up for the bar area here okay um, kitchen is nice granite countertops um, like i said it's new construction so everything's brand new um, love the stove um, dishwasher new construction homes do not come with a refrigerator so you would have to get a refrigerator to fill this spot right here but um, I like the cabinets I like the way they look against the um, the countertops um, it looks good um, I'm not sure why that's not built in somewhere but they've supplied you with a microwave all right so if you go back here remember that's the door to the uh, elevator, and then where that uh, window is right there is the door to go back downstairs. Okay? So you do have a room over here to the left that you can use as a bedroom, spare room, um, workout room, office, whatever you guys want to use it for. That door right there goes out to the hallway that goes back upstairs to the uh, third floor. Um, but back here is to the right is right behind your kitchen is your laundry room. Okay? It's got a utility sink in here, your electrical panel boxes in here, window, um, dryer vent, all right? So you got your washer and dryer here, laundry room. Um, I like the, uh, the the flooring in here, looks good. Same flooring in here in the uh, guest bathroom, all right? Hi, guys. Um, but like I said, normal bathroom, you got a big window in here, um, but everything's brand new, looks good. Okay, so like I said, this is um, uh, the living room. We'll walk through this room right here. Um, you just have a double door closet in here for the for the bedroom, okay, or office or whatever you want to use it for. But this door right here goes out into a little area where your your front deck, and then you have a coat closet right here next to the door. All right, so you do have a front front deck here that you can walk out and see the neighborhood see there's the uh, water for the boat ramp there's people down there fishing right now um, you can see where they're going to build see a little bit better the new construction houses um, and then you know you see the new construction house that's that's, uh, that's over here that's still available all right um, but love the neighborhood all right um, I like the big uh, you know, double wide uh, driveway, it leaves you great parking. Okay, so we'll go upstairs, check out the bedrooms. Okay, all right, so third floor is all bedrooms. Um, you do have a um, like a spare bathroom here which as soon as you get upstairs to the left is the spare bathroom okay a lot of counter space got the window shower and toilet okay there is no linen closet in here but this is the closet that would have been the elevator Okay, so you can use that as a linen closet for towels and stuff. Okay, guest, ba guest bedroom number one, or spare bedroom number one. Okay, double door closets. All right, um, not a huge room, um, but for a spare bedroom, it's not bad. You're looking at probably um, 10 foot by 10 foot room, okay? This is the other 
spare bedroom, which is a lot bigger than the other spare bedroom. Okay, you do have the slanted wall that's actually, you know, so you can get around the staircase over there, but big closet. Okay, now you just got the single door closet here. Okay, so not as big closet as the other room, but the room is bigger. Okay, go over to the master. All right, walk into the master. The master is very nice size. You do have a door that goes out onto your own personal balcony. Okay, but the door over here to the left is the master bathroom, which is very, very big. You got double sink vanity, really, really big mirror. Okay, um, toilet, you have a you know, linen closet in here. Okay, um, and then you have your tub shower. Okay, but it's a big, big. Um, bathroom all right master bedroom is is pretty is very big you got this kind of like nook back in here where they have put the cable hook up to where if you want to put your tv and stuff back there you have two closets all right two walk-in closets all right this one right here is the exact same thing, just opposite. You got two walk-in closets, all right. And then you go out here to your personal balcony. Okay. Put a couple chairs, a little table out here. All right. Now this view is a little bit better. You can see a lot of the water from here. I mean, probably not in the video because I got to show through the trees, but. Um, but I love the view up here. It's gorgeous. Um, I'd cut down these two trees right here so I can see the water better, but that's totally up to you guys. All right. Nice little uh, balcony off the master bedroom. Okay. All right. So that is the house here at um, 803 Jasmine Lane. Um, I'll send you this video as soon as I can get it downloaded. All right. Talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.